Okay, hello there everyone. Let's have arithmetic sequences part 2. Now, as what we have talked about last time, an arithmetic sequence is defined as a sequence in which there is a common difference between consecutive terms, meaning the number being added is a constant number. <coughs> Now, let's identify which of the following sequences are arithmetic. And let's identify the common difference. For this one, is this an arithmetic sequence? Yes, it is. And the common difference is 2. That's totally right. Let's have our second item. Is this an arithmetic sequence? Yes, it is. Now, what is the common difference? It's minus 1.5 or negative 1.5. Let's have our third item. Examine carefully. Is this an arithmetic sequence? No, it's not. You have noticed that, uh, sir, nag minus 4, nag minus 4. Now, pilamigi minus ani to get 66. Nag minus taog 8. Now, it's a cons is this a constant number? Maunang dili siya arithmetic sequence. Okay? Let's continue. We have negative 8, 6, negative 4, 2, and 0. If you're going to examine, this one is plus 14. This one is, um, how much is this? Uh, minus 10. Because 6 minus 10 is negative 4. Is the number the same with these two? No. So therefore, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Let's have our first, last item. This is an arithmetic sequence. Correct. And what is the common difference? It's plus 6. Okay. Now, let's proceed with the common difference is always the difference between any term and the term that precedes that term like for this one so we will be having the common difference is simply the number the number five so this one plus five this is plus five this one is plus five okay so that's the common difference now formula for the nth term i introduced this formula previously so we have here our formula. You already know the nth term, the first term, the term number, and the common difference. Now in our discussion today, there will be items that we will be solving that for the first term, the n, and the common difference because you already know how to solve a sub n or the nth term. Now let's have an example first of the nth term. What is the 14th term of the arithmetic sequence? So you have already know the formula. So our a sub n is, take note, we're looking for the 14th term. So a sub 14. The first term, sir, it's the number 4. So I'll be having 4 here. Plus, what is the value of n? The value of n is simply ikapilaman nga term. 14th term. 14 minus 1. The common difference. Examine. The common difference, sir, it's plus 3. So the common difference is positive 3 times 3 for that. Then do what's inside the parenthesis. So you'll be getting 13 for that times 3. Then multiply 13. So what I, what I did a while ago was simply 14 minus 1. Then 13 times 3, you'll be getting 39. 39 plus 4 that's 40, 43. This is the 14th term. Okay? Now, let's have another one. Find, okay, let's just skip this. Okay, let's proceed to another example. Now, what if find the nth term or the nth rule of the arithmetic sequence. So I'm looking for the nth rule or the nth term. So meaning, we are simply looking for a formula. Okay? So meaning, 
If I'm going to be having a formula, it's still the same. I'll be using the arithmetic sequence formula. Instead of having this, I will now, a sub n remains the same. What is the first term in our sequence? It's the number 4. So I'll be having 4 here plus. Now, we don't know what n is because we're looking for the nth term or the nth rule. So n remains the same, minus 1, times the common difference. Take note, this is the common difference is plus 3. So it's 3. Now, what do you do? You distribute. So this time, since we cannot subtract n and 1, what we will be doing is we will distribute 3. 3 times n and 3 times 1. So we'll be bring down 4 plus, this is now 3n minus 3. Now what is, what are like terms here? We will be combining like terms. So a sub n is equal to, okay, I'll be combining positive 4 and negative 3 to get, okay, we have 3n plus 1. Or I can have 1 plus 3n. It's totally the same. So this is the formula or the nth rule or the nth term I am looking for. Let's have another example. Find the nth term or the nth rule. This is our given. We have 79, 75, 71, 67, 63. So we have here our formula. So a sub n is still the same. And our first term is the number 79. There you go. And our n is, we don't know, so n gihapon na siya, minus 1. And what is the common difference, sir? Uh, the common difference is minus, minus 4. So the common difference is minus 4. So what we will be doing, bring down 79. You distribute negative 4. So this becomes, okay, let's just delete that. Negative 4n. Let's erase that properly. Okay, eraser sa na. Okay. And let's go back to our pen. Okay. So we have negative 4n, yeah, negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. So our a sub n is simply negative 4n plus 79 plus 4 is 83. This is our nth rule or nth term. Or I can write this as 83 minus 4n. They are just the same. Okay? Let's have another item. Another example. In the arithmetic sequence, 4, 7, 10, and 13, which term has a value of 301? So in this question, we are looking for which term, so the value of n is missing. We are now looking for n. And 301 here is our a sub n. But we just don't know, ikapila siya nga term. So I'll look, going back to our formula, so this is, what is a sub n equal to? a sub n is equal to 301. So this is 301. The first term is the number 4. The first term is the number 4. Plus, we don't know n because n is what we are solving for. Times the common difference. So what is the common difference? The common difference is plus 3, so it's the number 3. So solving this one, I will be transposing this to the other side. So this becomes 301. Minus 4 is equal to, okay, let's distribute this. Just like what did we did a while ago. This is 3n minus 3. And what is 301? 301 minus, minus 4. We will be getting 297 for this. And then with this one, 
we will transpose that again. That becomes plus 3. And what is left on this side is the only 3n. So 279 plus 3, you'll be getting 300 is equal to 3n. Dividing both sides by 3, the value of n is 100. Therefore, therefore, the 100th term is 301. Okay, let's have another example similar to this, holding for n. In the arithmetic sequence, 5, negative 1, negative 7, which term has a value of negative 73? So take note, in our formula, we all know that this one is a sub n. And we are looking for n here. Okay, mangutan na ganun ang which term or what term number kana ang gipangayuan na or what is asked is the value of n okay or n itself what is n we are looking for, or we are solving for n there so we have a sub n is negative 73 plus the first term the first term is 5 there you go this is equal to 5 plus n is we don't know that's n minus 1 the common difference how much did i add or subtract it's minus 6, so negative 6, okay? Now, <coughs> let's transpose 5 to the other side. So this is negative 73 minus 5 is equal to, so you distribute this, this is negative 6n, this is positive, positive 6. So n times negative 6, negative 6n, negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6. Now, 73 minus 5 is negative 78. Transposing this to the other side, minus 6 is equal to negative 6n. So what is 78, negative 78, minus 6? We will be getting, correct, negative 84 for that is equal to negative 6n. Divided by negative 6n, both sides. What is the value of n? It's 84 divided by 6. 14 will be the value of n. And take note, this is the 14th term. So, the 14th term in this sequence is simply negative 73. Okay? Now, let's have another one. What if I'm looking for the first term? So, we are given here, given an arithmetic sequence with a sub 15 as 38, and the common difference is negative 3. We're looking for the first term. So, using this formula, we all know that this one... This is equal to 38. 38 CA sub N, and we know that N is equal to 15. This is the value of N. So we all know that A sub N is 38. That's equal to the first term, the term we're looking for. What is N? That's 15 over here. So 15 ang value sa N, minus 1, and the common difference, it's stated here, it's negative 3. Okay? So we have here... 38 is equal to the first term plus this is 14 then negative 3 so what is 14 plus negative 3 it's negative how much negative 42 so transposing this to the other side so this becomes plus 42 38 plus 42 will give us, so the first term is equal to, the first term is equal to 80. This is our first term. Again, our first term, our first term is equal to 80. Okay, now let's proceed. Let's have another problem. Find the value of n.
find the value of n, where in a sub n is 633, the first term is 9, and the common difference is 24. So let's substitute everything to the formula. a sub n, we all know that it's 633. 633. The first term, the first term is 9. Plus, the value of n is unknown, minus 1, times the common difference, which is 24. Let's transpose 9 to the other side. So this becomes 633 minus 9 is equal to distribute. This is 24n minus 24. Okay? Now, let us um, combine this. 633 minus 9. That is 624. Now let's transpose this to the other side. That becomes plus 24. So is equal to 24n. So 624 plus 24 that will give us 648 is equal to 24n. Dividing both sides by 24, we will be getting a value of n, which is 27. Okay? The 27th term is 633. Now, what if you're given two terms, like any term? The 10th term, for example, is 86, and our 12th term is 100. And we are looking for the first term. Now, we cannot solve this one if we will not be solving the common difference first. So for us to solve the common difference, I will change what is given. So I will be making this as my first term. So this is now my first term is 86. Okay? So if my first term is 86, kining 100, ikapila man siya nga term. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. So meaning third term, the I see 100. Now, I am doing this because I want to solve for the common difference. So, solve D first. Okay? Solve D first. Now, let's continue. I will be using the formula. A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 times D. Now, this is now our A sub N is 300. 100, I mean. So, 100 at a sub n. The first term is 86 plus n minus 1. n minus 1, that is 3cn. Can you, sir? 3 minus 1 times the common difference. Okay, let's transpose this to the other side. 100 minus 86, that's equal to 3 minus 1, that's 2d. So we have 100 minus 86 is 14. 14 is equal to 2D. Dividing both sides by 2, we all know that the common difference is now 7. So we will now be using this to get the first term. So going back to our formula, Go back to the original given. So you all know that pwede atong gamiton is kini. Pwede sa ang gamiton na ito kini. So let's focus on this one. This will be our A sub N. Okay? So our A sub N is 100. The first term is unknown. Plus the value of N, that's 12. 12 minus 1. And the common difference is... We have solved it a while ago. It's 7. Okay? Now, so we have 100 is equal to the first term plus this is 11 times 7. So we have 100 is equal to the first term plus 77. Transposing this to the other side, so 100 minus 77 
is equal to the first term. So the first term is, that is 100 minus 77, it's 23. This is our first term. Okay? Now, let's proceed to another one here. Now, what if ang difference aning A sub 7 o ang 15 is layo? So, kung sa may buhato na ko ani niya. Okay. So, it's so simple. Again, we will be solving for D. To solve for D, I will let A sub 7 as my first term. Now, what did I do with 7 to get 1? I subtracted 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So, I will also subtract 6 to 15. So, what is 15? 15 minus 6. It's 9. So, the ninth term is 87. Okay? So, again, I subtracted 6 to get 1. Because si Moon manila tong first term. So, pila may minus na ko ni 7 to get 1. It's minus 6. So, kung mag minus 6 go today, ang 15 minusan po na ko og 6. So, ninth term na siya. Oh, balik na sa atong previous example. Look at here. I made this the first term. So, pila i minus na ko ni 10 para mahimong 1. 9. Okay, minus 9. So, what is 12 minus 9? Maunang third term ni din siya. Okay? Well, let's proceed. So, we now have our formula. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Now, A sub n, that is 87. This one is A sub n over here is equal to the first term, which is 39, plus n, n is, can you, 9. 9 minus 1 times the common difference, which is unknown because we're looking for the common difference first, okay? So, we have here transpose 39 to the other side. So, 87 minus 39 is equal to, this is 8D. So we have 87 minus 39, that is 48. 48 is equal to 8D. Divide both sides by 8. What is the value of D? 48 divided by 8, that will give us 6. Okay, there you go. This is now the common difference. Now let's solve the first term and let's go back to our problem. Okay, so can we use a sub 7? Yes, you can. Now, let's use a sub 7. Kinisha, ganiha. I use the other term. You can even use the 15th there. So, I'm gonna have, a, have this mon na kong a sub n. Okay, so my a sub n is 39. That's equal to the first term, which is unknown, plus the value of n. The value of n is, you'll know that it's 7 over here. 7 minus 1 times the common difference which we solved a while ago. That's the number 6. So you have here 39 is equal to the first term plus this is 6 times 6. So we will be having 39 is equal to a sub 1 plus 36. Transpose this to the other side. 39 minus 36 is the first term. So, the first term is the number 3. If we will be using this, we will still get 3 for this. So, can you show that, sir? Yes, of course. So, let's try having this one. So, we have... Um, I'm going to be using this. So, this is now 87 is equal to the first term plus 15 minus 1 times the common difference 6. So, we have 87 equals the first term. This is 14 times 6. So, we have what is 14 times 6? You have 84. So, 87 is equal to the first term plus 84. Transposing that, 
87 minus 84, it's still the same. The first term is really the number 3. Look at that. They are just the same. So I can use this or I can have this solution or this solution. Either way. Okay? Now, let's proceed. What if you are looking for D? You are looking for D. So you are given the first term and the 29th term. We'll be using the formula again. So the 29th term is the number 20. So I'll be writing the number 20 there. And the first term is... The first term is the number 6. Then you have n29 minus 1 times the common difference. Plus nasha. So transpose this first. So 20 plus 6 is equal to this is 28d. So this is 26 equal to 28d. Divide both sides by 28. I reduce the nisha. So D is equal to, this is divided by 2, 13 divided by 2, 14. 13 over 14, atong common difference. Pwede na fraction of common difference. It's possible. Okay? Now, this time, let's insert two arithmetic means between negative 4 and 5. Find two arithmetic means between negative 4 and 5. There you have it. So the process is this. How do we solve the arithmetic means here? So we need to solve the common difference first. So take note this is the first term, the second term, the third term, a sub n is the fourth term. So we all know that a sub n is the number 5, and it's the fourth term. So we will be having 5 here is equal to the first term. The first term is negative 4. Then we have n. We have the value of n. That's 4. 4 minus 1 times the common difference, which is unknown. So I'll be transposing this. So this is becomes, this becomes, I mean, 5 plus 4 is equal to, can you get transposed din ako to the other side? Can you combine? I'll be getting 3D for that. So 9 is equal to 3D. Dividing both sides by 3, the common difference is 3. So, going back here, so I will be having negative 4. We have duha ka blank. Kaya I'll be inserting two arithmetic means. So, let's verify. What is negative 4 plus 3? We have plus 3 for this. To get the next number. Okay, negative 1. Now, negative 1 plus 3. It's 2. Correct. Now, if you're going to add 3 there, it's 5. So, meaning the answer is negative 1 and, and positive 2. So, answer any negative 1 and 2. Okay. Di na pwede mag, inter, mag ex, exchange, interchange. Dapat mag una sa negative 1 followed by positive 2. Now, let's have another one. Let's insert three arithmetic means here. So take note, this is the first term, the second term, the third term, the fourth term, and the fifth term. Okay, now, let's use the formula. We have a sub n is the number 4, this one. This is, is, this is our a sub n. 4 is equal to the first term, that's 1. This is our first term. Plus n, that's 5. Over here, we have 5 minus 1 times the common difference. Okay, now, we have transposed this to the other side. So, we have now 4 plus 1 is equal to... Or 4 minus 1, I mean. That's 4, four minus 1. Okay? So, 4 minus 1. 
Okay, let's verify that. So 4 minus 1 is equal to 4D. So 3 is equal to 4D. Divided by 4, divided by 4, the value of D, let's have it in decimal number, 0 0.75. So this is our common difference. If I'm going to be adding, I have 1, to look at blanks, and the number 4. Kini add na ko og 0.75. Now, 1.75 plus 0.75, kini siya, plus na ko 0.75, it will give me 2.5. 2.5 plus 0.75, if I'm going to add 0.75 here, plus, it will give me 3.25. If I'm going to add plus 0.25, it will give me 4. So, meaning, my answers will be 1.75, 2.5, and 3.25. These are the three arithmetic means we are looking for that's between 1 and 4. Okay?